Hi there, um, I'm making a, a video to show you how to test a new PC setup out of the box. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it all together and then you can watch it epic fail as it endlessly boot cycles. Okay, the, the, the parts that I have that I'm going to set up for you are a Gigabyte GA-Z68A D3H B3 motherboard I've also purchased a Intel Core i5 2500K processor. Probably can't read that. Oh, no, maybe, maybe, nope, maybe not. <laughs> um, and the stock fan. Uh, well, now that I have applied my own thermal paste onto it. And also two 4 gigabyte. G-Skill Ripjaw Memory limbs. Ok, the first thing to note is that I've actually taken the CMOS battery out as like I said I'm having issues and so I thought I'd reset that I will just pop that back in for you now Here's the battery Put that back in there There we go You can also see I have actually replaced the initial CPU cover and um, there is something that I would like to note on my video um, when you take the lever out difficult one under as you can see the cover goes underneath this little thing here and the lever goes down to approximately this angle before it becomes a little bit difficult but not really, it's very easy to push that down and then slide it in. You'll note why I'm telling you that in a few minutes. So let's take this out. And then I will put my CPU in, make sure to grab it on the side. So make sure that the triangle, you can see in the corner here, is lined up properly. There's really only one way it'll actually fit in anyway. So I'll put this in carefully. As you can see, it doesn't move around a little bit. Nothing major. Most things are like that anyway. Then I'll put the, the bracket back over. Okay, you see it's underneath again. And now I'll close this. Now, as you can probably see, I'm actually hitting resistance now, and the angle is a lot higher than what it was before. And I'm gonna, it is really difficult to push. And you can also hear, hopefully you'll be able to hear it on the video, that it is grinding a little bit, and I'll, I'll be quiet for a second. It does become extremely difficult to push down. But it is in. And into the best of my ability is all I can say for that one. It, had, it does have little marks on here, because I have done this a few times to test the board. But you can see it's physically pushed into the CPU, so maybe, maybe this is the error I'm having, I don't know. The next thing to do is, of course, put the CPU cooler on. Like I say, I have actually done this a few times, so I've actually cleaned off the original thermal paste which was on the CPU and I've replaced it with my own, which is the thermal right thermal paste. Just a thin layer on top. Unexpertly put on, I may add. <laughs> okay, so we need to make sure that this is lined perfectly over the top, which I will do one handed. It's going to be fun. That's, that's on. And then what we're going to do is push the pins in properly. He 
here, that one clicked in. This one didn't click in. This is one of the problems I appear to be having. This appears to have gone in there. Oh, as you may have noticed, I'm also doing opposite corners. This time they both clicked in. So that seems to be flush. Everything's nicely in. And then just attach the CPU fan. Make sure you put that in the right way also. And quickly to note, I will lift it up and we can see underneath the little male, female ends are actually through and flush. They all seem to be connected properly. Not sure if you can really see that properly on the video, but there we go. And if you look underneath as well, you can just about make out of They are indeed on and in. They are flush to the motherboard. Let's push them down a bit more to make sure. So that is the fan in. Just make sure that the wires aren't in. That seems okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is put the, the memory slots in. I have actually tried all permutations of this and it has failed. So I'm just going to do what but you're supposed to do the way I would like it set up. So I'll just put the memories in here. Like I say, I've put one in here, 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 here. And I've used the other one in all four as well. No matter what I do, no matter what combination I do, it, it doesn't seem to want to work properly. So I'll just put this, make sure you put them in the right way. In, seems to be a little, struggling a little bit. There we go. Make sure that it is actually properly in. There we go. And I shall put this one in as well. As you can also notice, and probably here I am doing it on top of the bag that the motherboard actually came in as well. Okay, those are the things I need to put in. Next one I'm going to do is actually move it up onto my old computer. Uh, what I'm also using for this is my old PSU. Um, PSU is a OCZ Game Extreme 700 watt, which is more than enough to power it. The only things I am going to be plugging into the new motherboard is the ATX connector. And as you'll notice on the new motherboard there is a, tw a 12 volt, which is just 4 pin. This PSU actually has an 8 pin, which is split. But as you can see on the writing, this one is actually... CPU 1 and then there is CPU 2. I, just, I will just plug the CPU 1 in and just let me move the system on top. I'm really moving that is because I need the power switch to go in and it's connected to the case so um, I might as well stick that in actually now as you can see the, the power is down here I will just plug the power one in so we can power it on goes in there like that you probably can't read that So that is in there, that's probably in there now, okay. And next time I will put the, the ATX cable in, the 24 pin. Just read that there. Um, there is one thing to note about this, I will just have to put the camera down a second. And that is that um, it goes in okay. Taking it out is an absolute nightmare. It is really, really put in properly. <laughs> Hopefully for this, you, that will make a difference.
Ideally you would do this on a flat surface. Which I did originally, but doesn't matter. For this video purposes, make sure that is in properly. That is in properly. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is connect the CPU in. I will put the CPU one into there. As you can see. Now, this is all you really need to do to test that the motherboard is working. But what I am actually going to do, just in case by some miraculous, amazing reason it does actually work, I'm going to plug my monitor in to the DVI socket, which actually comes with this um, new type of Z68 motherboard. There's actually a graphics on the CPU. I'm just going to plug this in just on the odd occasion, the odd chance that it works, which it probably won't. So let me just make sure this is in properly. You probably can't see what I'm doing right now, but you will be able to. Now, all I've done is plug the DVI socket into the back. Yeah, like that. Sorry if I've just made you seasick. I'm turning the camera sideways. And that is going to this monitor. Yeah. Now the PSU is actually all the power is actually connected into my old computer. All the fans are powered directly by the PSU. So when I turn this on, all the fans will come on. It's also connected to the graphics card room. That doesn't make any difference. I have I have done it without the with the PSU just plugged into the ATX and the 12 volt. Okay, so I'm just going to plug the PSU in. And then turn the power on, like so. Okay, so as you can see, So what I've got here set up, just as a reminder, I have the C I have an i5 core, 2500K processor, in with the CPU cooler on top, the fan plugged in, the 12 volt and the ATX connected to the PSU, two four gigabyte sticks of G-Skill RAM, and then the power switch. So when I turn it on, I have also connected up the DVI cable to the monitor in case it posts. I'm just going to turn the monitor on and then I'll press the power button and we shall see what happens. Oh. Right then. Here we go. Okay, as you can probably tell, I've turned it on, the power comes on, it powers the fans up, and then after 2-3 seconds, it stops. Then 5 seconds later it stops again. It just keeps doing this over and over and over. And this is the issue I'm having. So, if anyone has any expert ideas on what is actually wrong, current theory is that there is something short-circuited on the motherboard. I can't think of any other reason why it would be like this. So that is the end of this little video. Hopefully you'll have learned how to set up a PC. And for those of you who can actually help me to figure out what is wrong with it, maybe you can give some advice on what I can potentially do. Okay, thanks.
Bye.